Hi, my name's Alex and you're watching Make It Happen. Today I will be making a cigar box bass guitar. I would first like to apologise for the four month delay. I've had a few failed projects after the Ghostbuster build and lost motivation. But I'm all good now and I would like to thank all my new subscribers and all those who've waited. You guys are the best. Basically for this build, I've replicated the Cigar Box guitar build by Nighthawk and Light. You should totally check out his channel for a more detailed description. The main difference between his guitar and my guitar is mine's a bass and I'll be building the box myself. You will need a 65 by 32 millimeter 1.8 meter long Taz Oak wood, a 4 millimeter plywood, a 5 millimeter eye bolt, nuts, washers, a 50 millimeter angle bracket, screws, nails, staples, a brass tube, an audio transducer, a 6.5 millimeter audio jack, and bass guitar strings. For starters, I took the piece of oak and cut it down to a length of 1.17 meters. This gives a length of 0.9 meter scale, a 0.14 meter head, and a 0.12 meters left for the body. After making the scale, which is 40 millimeters wide, um, and the design for the head, I cut it out. This can be done the way I did it with a series of release cuts and then knock them down and then filed it to shape. You can also use a chisel or a bandsaw if you have one of those. Next, on the head, I cut away a bit on the back to fit the brackets to be used as machine tuners and drilled out the holes for them. I then marked out each fret along the scale and cut out the channels to fit the nails. My nails sat a little too high, so make yours deep enough. I also filed away the groove for the bridge. For the nut at the top of the scale, don't do what you see here. File out another groove for a thicker nail or a thin bolt where those staples are to act as the nut. Then place those staples on the head to align the strings. For the body of the guitar, I constructed a 360 by 250 by 70 millimeter box out of the 4 millimeter plywood. You can build this box however you want. I cut out space to fit the neck of the guitar and a sound hole. I learnt later that for a bass guitar, the sound hole should be small. I then wired up the audio jack and the transducer and installed them into the body, as you can see here. The final stages of construction were made. The nails, brass tube and staples were cut, glued and filed to shape. Now the neck and body can be connected. I used a clear timber varnish gloss paint to seal my wood, but I should have used a clear varnish acrylic spray paint instead. Finally, it was time to string up the eye bolts and tune it. My very first homemade instrument was complete. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button.